welcome. We are in Maidstone and two weeks now since we acquired this lovely new property uh, to develop this into a beautiful HMO uh, in the heart of Maidstone. Allow me to give you a tour of what we are making out of this. Come with me inside as it's quite noisy on the street. So follow me as I give you a tour. Notice a lot of rubbish out here because the strip out has completed. It's been two weeks and we've been in a lot of negotiations with the council. Uh, we originally started the idea of converting this property into three flats. However, that plan has now been shelved because we've had to go in with a lot of negotiations with the council, with the building control, planning department, HMO inspection, uh, and finally what has transpired is we wouldn't want to convert it into three flats and we are now going finally with the plan of converting this into a traditional four bed HMO. This two up two down house is now becoming a four bedroom, four bathroom traditional HMO. Allow me to give you a quick tour of how we have carved out the house into four bedrooms and four bathrooms. So we are two weeks in, the house is a bit of a mess but I hope you will enjoy the tour. Right, so as you enter through the main door, allow me to just close the door so we don't have much road noise. This is going to be bedroom number one. As you enter through the main door, that's bedroom number one. Uh, this is about nine and a half square meters in size. Pretty decent size. The uh, room standard sizes in Maidstone are about nine square meters. So we are meeting and exceeding that standard of nine square meters. We've got a lovely ensuite that we've carved out here. There will be a shower here, a toilet here, and a basin in the middle. Lovely ensuite bathroom. Um, this used to be obviously the living room of the original house, and that followed, flowed into uh, the old kitchen, if you might remember, and if you've seen the videos on my channel previously. The kitchen is now out, it's been, uh, it's been stripped down. The whole property, obviously, as you can see, has been stripped out. We've opened this space up and we've put a new metal lintel up there followed by the uh, opened up space which now becomes the new kitchen of uh, the house. This is about 8 square meters, the new kitchen area. Now the kitchen is in the middle of the house, right? So this is another question a lot of people would ask, well, how would you have a kitchen in the middle of the house? Because a kitchen is obviously a high risk area and therefore you need to give fire exit access, etc. So what we've done is we've carved out space right up here. So allow me to explain this to you. It's slightly complicated, but I hope I can convey this properly. So we have opened up the space from what used to be an extension into the room. Uh, into the kitchen. This used to be an extension at the back of the kitchen, which was derelict. It was kind of a bathroom at the back, uh, a, a, a disused bathroom. I'll come to in a minute the, to what we are doing with the bathroom, the old bathroom in a second. But what we've done is essentially carved out the space and this becomes the exit, the fire exit to, uh, to the outside. And it also becomes the open door to access uh, the front of the house. So luckily the house came with a gully or a gallery or an alleyway to the side that leads you to the front of the house. So we are using this to access the front of the house, right? So that becomes the fire exit as well as access for the three other rooms in the house. Let's follow inside and I'll show you what we've done with the rest. Um, so the old bathroom, talking about the old bathroom, that old bathroom no longer exists. That space is a nice, big, large bedroom. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is about 10 and a half, 11 square meters of nice, sprawling bedroom. That used to be the exit towards the garden. We have now blocked that. That will be fully blocked up. We have uh, now concreted the floor here. This will now be level and the, the ceiling will be uh, fully completed and we are going to be converting this space into a bedroom. You can see the hallmarks of a nice big space. Obviously, you're going to be accessing the garden through this door. We're going to be partitioning this space out. So effectively, as we partition this out, this is accessible from the kitchen and also the bedroom will be accessed through a door uh, through the 
through the hallway. So this door then becomes a communal door and therefore the bedroom is carved out from this space. Um, and then obviously the garden access is through the side alleyway into the garden at the, at the back of the house. I hope that uh, explains. Uh, now, so that explains the two rooms. Obviously we haven't shown you the bathroom to this house, which uh, is a bit of a mystery, but I'll show it to you as we go upstairs very quickly. So moving on upstairs, into the house. The upstairs of this property was a bit of a mishmash. There was too much going on upstairs and the space was quite poorly utilized. What we've done is we've carved out the main uh, master bedroom into nice sized rooms. Uh, two rooms and three bathrooms. So you see this is the master bedroom. That is the answer to this master bedroom. The master bedroom obviously overlooks the front of the house. Uh, luckily, we inherited good, uh, pretty decent size uh, and decent uh, quality uh, windows, so we don't have to change that. This bathroom to the master will have a shower, basin, and toilet. As standard, every one of our developments will come with a mini kitchenette in the room. So, for instance, in this space, we're going to have a mini fridge freezer, a microwave and a tea coffee making facility. Every single bedroom of ours will come with that and that's a hallmark of our development We Provide our uh, tenants with a nice modern room, a bathroom and a mini kitchenette uh, in addition to obviously a complete uh, communal kitchen downstairs. So this is bedroom number three. Now, I was telling you about the room downstairs, the open room at the back, the room number two. This is the bathroom that we've carved out right here. As you come up the steps from the stairs, this is the bathroom up here that we've carved out in this space. As you come up the stairs here, there's lovely little space here that we've turned into the bathroom here. There'll be a shower tray in this space, there'll be a toilet in this space, and there'll be a basin in this space. So there'll be a shower basin and toilet for the bedroom, in uh, the back of the house. So we've created space where there wasn't any and we were, we've pinched a bit of space from the master bedroom to create this lovely little space here. Uh, hopefully you like the design of what we've done. Finally, this is bedroom number four. And so bedroom number four was relatively small. This was only about 8.9 square meters. Now, we were smaller than the size that we needed this to be. So here's what we've done. There was a little um, boiler cupboard on this side. So what we've done is we've opened up the boiler cupboard and we've taken all of this boiler cupboard area out. That now opens up all of this space around the stairs and I'll ask my cameraman to pan this way. Now, here, what we are doing is We've created space for an ensuite in this area. So there will be a shower here, a toilet in that corner, and a basin here. And obviously that means you've got an ensuite to that bedroom number four, but also importantly, we've created this amount of additional space in here that adds to about another 0.2 square meters of space. We are then 9.2 square meters uh, in size on this room. So hopefully, that will also now comply with minimum space standards of 9.2 square meters. Um, so you've got bedroom number uh, three there with its own ensuite. You've got bedroom number four here with its own ensuite. You've got bedroom number two downstairs at the back of the uh, kitchen, uh, back of the house, whose bathroom we have created here. And then bedroom number one at the front that's accessed through the main door. Obviously, all three rooms at the back of the house, which is bedroom number two, three and four upstairs, will be accessed through the new entrance that we have created uh, through the gully on the side or the alleyway on the side. The other beautiful thing that uh, is worth noting here is we have created this these three bathrooms in tandem here. If, uh, if you come closer and uh, I'll ask my cameraman to show you in a, a, a bit of a closer look, you'll see that the three bathrooms have been created in tandem. What that gives you is effectively three bathrooms uh, back to back. So all your soil stacks, all your pot and cold uh, water pipes can run next to each other 
and you can run straight from here all the way back and connect into the main soil stack at the back of the house. That allows for obviously efficiency, ease of maintenance and most importantly quick conversion. That's what we aim for in our projects. I hope you really like this tour and I hope you will keep watching more of our videos. Keep watching this space as I bring you more updates on this project. Thank you for watching.